So AM radio button, as you can remember maybe when I talked about the check button slash checklist or anything with check, you would have noticed that there were two things, a checkbox, right, this thing right here, and a radio button right here. So what is the difference? Well, if you can remember in one of my previous tutorials, the difference is with a checkbox, if you have multiple checkboxes, you can click every one of those checkboxes. For example, let's say you go to order something at the pizza store and they say, what do you want on your pizza? Then you check macaroni or salami, chicken, I don't know, but you can check all three of them. You don't have to worry. We're with a radio button. Let's say we talk about gender. Now, what you do then is you'd have a radio button because only one can be chosen. So then you'd have, let's say, three radio buttons. One saying male, other saying female, and another saying other. Then basically what you do is you'd let the user choose whether they are male, female, or a different gender. Easy as that. And that's the difference. A radio button can only allow you to choose one of the radio buttons, while a checkbox can only, can check all of the boxes and still be okay with it. So, yeah. Now let's get to doing radio buttons. We won't be just doing normal radio buttons because they are inferior to what we are going to be using. We are going to use a radio group. Now basically what a radio group is, it's just a bunch of radio buttons in one group. It's the same thing as having multiple radio buttons from your, from here, like adding five radio buttons, but this time they're in a group. So which means if you move the group, all of them move along and you don't have to choose every single one of them because all of them will be moving along with this one. Also you can give the radio group a name, like let's say gender for example, let's actually go, uh, let's go to quick edit. Then we can go uh, radio button group gender and let's go here uh, gender gender there we go now you have a radio button group let's also add a button right here to add some functionality now how would you go about adding options to this well to do that you can go to items right here in the object inspector and then you can just add your items. For example, male, female, female, other. Then you can choose what gender you want to be. And another nice thing you might want to add is if you click on this right here, you might want to go item index right there. Now the item index is basically where the item will be. For example, let's say if it's at index zero, then it will start at male. If it's at index one, it will start at female, and if it's at index 2, then it will be other. Now let's put ours at other, and yeah, so for right now, this is fine. Now what we can do is we don't even need to hit the button, we can just click on it. Now to modify, on the bottom line, to, to get information from this, also before I forget, another thing about radio buttons, or let's actually run this. Another thing about radio buttons, or I hate it when I can't move it, about radio buttons are, you cannot unselect. Once you have selected one, you cannot unselect. That's why it's good to give it an item index for in case they have to choose an option. Because then they have to choose one, otherwise they might choose the wrong one. So yeah, with a checkbox, if you select it, you can unselect it. Easy as that. Okay, so let's try this again. And we can maybe just fix this, put it in the middle of the screen. Okay. Let's practice our case a little bit. So let's go case RBG gender dot item index of your item index is zero, which is male. Then we'll go show message. You are male. If it's one, then they are female. And if it's two, then Okay, and so yeah, that's basic. So let's let's go over this. So it goes case RGB item index of this basically just goes like this. So it selects this RBG gender, 
then it finds item index. So then it goes item index. Here's item index. Then it goes here and it checks if it's zero. So if the item index here is zero, then it's main. Then it checks if it's one. If item index is one, then it will be female. And then it checks two. And if item index is two, then it would be other. So let's run the program and test it out a little bit. So let's say I am male. You are male. Female. You are female. Other. You do not identify as male or female. And that is how the basic checkbox works. Of course, if you really hate it, of course, if you want to, you can go variable i num and just put it into an integer. And you just go cut this i num becomes and you just paste that in there and go i num. Easy as that. And it would still work. And that is all. That's how the basic radio button works.